across a room, you guys can pick out a proof within a within a point. Well, yeah, pretty close. And and it depends on the raw product too. You know, if you got fruit or if you got grain and different grains, sometimes it, it does vary a little bit. It's I can tell you, sometimes. how I learned to proof. Yes. I can put it dead on the money at 110. That's, that's what, you what I learned to proof. Hit a, hit a bridge in the middle, be a bridge go straight across. That's 110 proof. Shake it one more time. Let me see that bridge. So the way it comes across the top of the bottle. Go to the center. So it makes a bridge. But now if it's higher than that, hit a break in the center and go to the outside. Right. And uh, if it's lower than that, it won't do nothing much. It just fizzle out. Right. And they go away quick. You got real high proof liquor. So, so the faster those bubbles go away, the lower the proof. The lower the proof. Yeah. The bigger the bubbles, the higher proof. And the bigger the bubbles, the higher the proof. Okay. So, what do we have here in front of us today? Oh, yeah. Uh, this year, this is a scotch. You know, it's uh, totally different ingredients than what's in the regular moonshine. Gotcha. And the reason it's brown, it's been aged in wood. Gotcha. Gives it a good old flavor to go with the smoke flavor. What else you got? Okay, this here's just regular corn whiskey moonshine. My favorite. That's your favorite? You don't like any additives? No, no. I, I, like, I like it all. Everything you see here. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Man after my own heart. This, this is, right. this I like it all. Got two official tasters. Here. This right here is actually George Washington's recipe. What does that mean? This is the same liquor that George Washington made. No kidding. This is his recipe. That's a rye whiskey. Sure. I know why he signed all the bills. He is drunk. <laughs> <laughs> this here is a apple flavored moonshine. But it has no color to it. No, uh, it's clear. And how is how come it's clear? Why is it clear? I, I would think uh, if it were a flavor. You can take make wine out of anything, run it through a steel, and your alcohol will come out clear. And this right here is raspberry. Raspberry's added to it after it was Women, women likes it. It tastes good. Mm -hmm. Well, only women likes it. I like it too. No, yeah, I like <laughs> it. And all of yours, no hangover. Unless you drink it all. <laughs> then there's not much you can do. Josh, Bill, what, what do you guys got in front of you there? Josh has mixed some of our liquor down with some flavors. Some peach, some apple, and some berry. This here, straight corn off our first run. Now I got straight corn out of the heart of our second run there. Both of them, you can taste it compared to the rest of these people's liquor. And then the, the, you can you can taste their experience and our inexperience in our liquor. We, we ran a little bit hot. When I was talking about angry liquor earlier, this, <laughs> we're young and we're getting hurry. We, we want to turn the heat up. Let's, let's get more liquor out of it. And and it shows in the product. It's a harsher flavor. It's a harsher afterbite. I'm still proud of it. You know that by these hands, you know it was created. But but it's it's different than theirs. That that you can taste their experience in their jars, and you can taste our inexperience in ours. Ain't nothing wrong with. It. Yeah, it's still it's still it's real good. good. It's just not quite what these fellas. It's got. still drinkable, but put it next to these men's liquor. It's, 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 there's no comparison with it. It's just years of experience. And it makes you feel good, don't it? Yeah, it's a nice yeah. compliment. It really is. And so what is that? This is Tim Smith's World Famous Moonshine. World Famous? That is distilled strawberry. So opposed to corn, do you distill it's strawberries? Fresh strawberries. Okay. okay. No frozen. So who's got the best moonshine at the table? Who, who has the best moonshine? Best jar of moonshine in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to agree. Just tickle, this, just tickle to, will this attest is, to that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it for the Moonshiner Secret Summit Part 1. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time and uh, your expertise. And